you, and you may now be seated. <laughs> Greetings, distinguished guests, families, and friends. My name is Ms. Allie Shear, and I am a senior class counselor. It is my great honor and privilege to welcome you today as we celebrate the class of 2022 graduates of the Francis L. Cardozo Education Campus. <laughs> These scholars have worked incredibly hard and have overcome tremendous adversity to meet this milestone today. And today is their moment to shine. Every year, we make an appeal to our families, guests, and all members of the audience for their cooperation in respecting the dignity and decorum of this special ceremony. Each family member deserves to hear their graduate's name be called out clearly. I ask that you please silence your cell phones at this time. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy the commencement of these outstanding and resilient young people. You may now rise for the presentation of colors by the JROTC cadets and the singing of the national anthem. Be seated. Good afternoon. Welcome to the 93rd commencement exercises of Francis L. Cardozo Education Campus. I am Destiny Hodge, one of the senior class administrators. It is with great pleasure that I present our platform guests to you. We ask that you hold your applause until all have been introduced. Each stage participant is asked to stand as his or her name is called and to remain standing until the entire stage has been introduced. Dr. Louis D. Farabee, Chancellor of DC Public Schools. Dr. Uh, Kimberly Martin. Instructional Superintendent for our cluster. Dr. or sorry, Mr. soon to be Dr. Mr. Arthur Mola, Principal of Cardozo Education Campus. <laughs> Ms. Vanessa Snyder, Assistant Principal of Cardozo Education Campus. Dr. Tynika Alabar, former Assistant Principal of Cardozo Education Campus. Ms. Ali Shear, 12th grade school counselor. Ms. Shamika Solomon, 12th grade school counselor. Mr. Leonel Popol, IA school counselor. In the audience and flanking our candidates for graduation are members of the faculty and staff of Francis L. Cardozo Education Campus. At this time, I ask that teachers and staff members stand and be recognized. 
Thank you. You may be seated. We are happy to recognize as well our special guests in the audience. Any former principals of Cardozo, patrons, parents of former students, and community partners. Please know that we welcome your presence and value your support this afternoon. Thank you. Now, it is my privilege to introduce our class of 2022 salutatorian, Muna Saeed. Muna. Muna has been a student at Francis L. Cardozo Education Campus since her eighth grade year. She has always been fearless, both socially and academically. Muna has been active in our Student Government Association and Trans STEM Academy since her ninth grade year. She also serves as president of Cardozo's chapter of the National Honor Society. She has taken nine of the 12 advanced placement classes that are offered here at Cardozo. And she has been featured in talent shows and is a strong voice among students. As she heads to Georgetown University, we know that she will continue to be fearlessly excellent. And now, our salutatorian, Muna Saeed. Okay, sorry, I forgot how to turn a page. Um, thank you, AP Hodge, for that wonderful introduction and all in attendance. Welcome to our graduation. Since sophomore year, our high school experience has become unconventional to say the least. From Zoom calls and random locations, bed, couches, anything, became a, anything but a desk became our learning space. It came with its challenges, but we prevailed. And I'm glad to say we made it through the obstacles and ended off the school year inside of our school building. For, the, for most, it felt like taking a time machine into the future, from 10th to 12th overnight. I was worried that I would miss years of maturing as a person and that staying home would stunt me from growing past my embarrassing 16-year-old self. But I was wrong. Coming back only served as a reminder of how much everyone has grown, not separately, but together as scholars and as people. I went from never wanting to act, sound, even resemble my 16-year-old self, to feeling a sense of nostalgia. A fear of growing up and losing the parts of me that I thought were vital, learning that my immaturity was merely a that I thought was merely a character flaw would be something that I grew out of, sparked the consideration of what's next. What else will I grow out of? But as we grow older, we should look forward to what's to come, rather than what the past held. As each year goes by, when you mature, you're not losing parts of your younger self, but gaining new traits from your older self. Look forward to the person you'll become and cherish the person you are. Thank you to all the people I had the pleasure of growing with, from staff to students, from siblings to mom and dad. I thank you, and I look forward to seeing the people you become in the future. Thank you. Thank you, Mona, for such a wonderful welcome and an excellent salutatory address. Good afternoon, everyone. Today, I have the great honor and privilege to introduce the class of 2022 valedictorian, Karina Urbina Diaz. <laughs> Just want you to stay right there and let the light shine on you. Karina is what we call our forever clerk, as she has been a student since her sixth grade year, making her the first valedictorian to have matriculated throughout every grade level of Cardozo Education Campus. When we think of the word valedictorian, of course it's normal to associate that word with being number one or first. The daughter of El Salvadorian parents who migrated to America, she is the first of her immediate family to attend college. Yeah. 
she's maintained her status of first throughout her entire middle school and high school journey. An outstanding scholar, Karina has earned a cumulative grade point average of a 4.26 GPA. Not only did Karina exude academic excellence, but she has also demonstrated her athletic prowess on the softball, volleyball, bowling, soccer, track, and flag football teams. All of this while also working part-time after school. Karina is also a member of our school's chapter of the National Honor Society. She has been able not only to do it all, but Karina has been able to be successful through it all. Her smile and positive demeanor have been infectious among both her classmates and her educators. Karina's sheer determination, incredible work ethic, and humble yet exuberant spirit has made her a true example of what we're proud to call a Cardozo clerk. <laughs> Karina, as you commence upon your new chapter at Georgetown University, Always keep close the generous and loving values that have been instilled in you by your family. Continue to approach your goals in life with the same zeal and gusto you've had here at Cardozo. We look forward to hearing and seeing all of the great things that you will do. And now with further, without further ado, I welcome Cardozo's class of 2022 Valedictorian Karina Urbina Diaz. Give me a second to get myself together. <laughs> I'm a little short, so I'm going to pull this down a little bit. <laughs> Thank you for those lovely words. Oh. Good afternoon, family, friends, teachers, and guests. Thank you for joining us today. At this momentous occasion, as we celebrate the honors and achievements of the Cardozo Education Campus Class of 2022. I am, as you already know, Karina Arbina, the valedictorian of the bold class of 2022. As I sat down to write my speech for today's ceremony, I struggled with what to say, how to say it. I wanted to say something that would capture your attention, but it wouldn't sound champ or, you know, cringy or anything. Um, I almost immediately remembered the phrase, the problem is not the problem, the problem is your attitude about the problem. Said by a very wise and not at all abusive Johnny Depp, <laughs> whilst playing Captain Jack Sparrow. <laughs> As young adults and living beings, we will always have problems. Maybe those problems will be out of our everyday control, like xenophobia, homophobia, racism, and exploitation. Sometimes those problems will just be some nasty coworker who keeps telling on you because you go to the bathroom to use your phone, even though it's not busy. We all, at some time or another, will face a problem or problems in our life. But like Johnny said, it's all about our attitude towards those problems. Problems will come and go. What is important is that you don't allow those problems to mess with your head. So let's say you miss the bus to school on a hot June morning and you don't feel like walking, sweating your outfit, creasing your J's, not speaking from experience. This is just hypothetical. This would completely ruin your morning and the, begin the day off on the wrong foot. You go to school all snarky with an attitude because the heat was too much and now you messed up everybody else's day. Was it worth it? Are your clothes not washable? Are your shoes not meant to be worn? Now my problem became a burden to everybody else. 
when it truly wasn't a big issue. Now, not all issues are as benign as not wanting to crease your J's. Having a bad attitude towards your problems will never make them go away. It will just ruin your day. Sometimes what we don't do is every bit as powerful as what we do. Para esos que no hablan inglés, aunque llevan años de estar en la escuela, pero solo vienen porque si no los regañan en sus casas, nada más los quiero dejar con una nota o frase. Los problemas no son el problema, sino que la actitud hacia el problema. Quiero dejarlos con esto, pero ¿qué quiero decir con eso? Que uno no tiene que permitir que los problemas, por más pequeños o por más grandes, te arruinen tu día. Todo tiene solución. Todo tiene arreglo. As I stand before you all, I am honored and proud to say that I'm not only the valedictorian of the graduating class of 2022, I am also a Latina first-generation college student, mentor, supporter, and advocate for justice. These accomplishments, along with many opportunities I have had, would not be possible without many individuals, mentors, educators, and most importantly, my family, who believe in me, my potential, and as I journey into Georgetown, class of 2026. May your caps fly as high as your dreams. Thank you and congratulations, class of 2022, for beginning a new chapter. And now I have the great pleasure of introducing our esteemed guest, the Chancellor of DC Public School, I really hope I don't butcher your name, <laughs> Dr. Louis D. Freebie. <laughs> Sorry. Good afternoon. Let's give another round of applause to our valedictorian. It's so exciting to be with you today to celebrate the class of 2022. And graduates, I know you think that this is your day. But there's a village behind you that's just as worthy of this recognition as you are. Let's all take a moment to thank all of our families, friends, parents, and guardians who've been lockstep with you throughout your journey to high school graduation. For parents, guardians, I know your mindset right now because I too have a graduate today that will walk across this stage. And I know the reflections that you are having. The times that they were little and totally dependent on you to their newfound independence and the guidance that you're providing them and have been providing them. Please know that we're extremely grateful that you chose DCPS, and we've been proud to be on this journey with you. To the faculty and staff at Cardozo, we're really grateful for your service. Please give a round of applause to Principal Mola, the administrative team, and staff and faculty. And now to the class of 2022. I know you think as impressive as the last couple years have been fighting through the pandemic, all the things that have changed and shifted in DCPS because of COVID-19, yes, it is remarkable what you've been able to accomplish. But I'm here to tell you today that this is actually not the best version of yourself. I want you to think of this as a new beginning that there's more to accomplish and there's more to do, and we can't wait to see it happen. Remember these three words, good, better, best. Never let them rest. Continue to stay in a spirit of continuous improvement, which means acknowledging you still have much to learn and you always have room to grow. We can't wait to see what you accomplish. Again, congratulations to the class of 2022.
Thank you, Chancellor Faraby, for your inspiring and thoughtful message to our graduates and their families. Class of 2022, congratulations. The time has finally arrived. And this year was no ordinary accomplishment. I want us to think about this word for a moment, resilience. Yes, high school graduations have been around forever, but no class has ever had to endure the challenges you faced this year. You are the first graduating class since coming back to in-person learning with half of your high school experience taught virtually. You've had to fight through multiple disruptions to your educational journey, many quarantines, mandatory COVID testing, absences, and having to manage adult responsibilities, all while just trying to be a teenager. And if those accomplishments are not impressive enough, Cardozo graduates have earned a total of $2.1 million in scholarships this year. One hundred percent of our students applying to colleges and universities were accepted and will be, yes, <clears throat> and will be attending places like Georgetown, Jackson State, Kent State, Trinity Washington, Marymount, the University of the District of Columbia, Almira College, George Mason University, and Oswego State University in New York. Give it up. Our salutatorian, Muna Said, is graduating with a 4.20 GPA and will be attending Georgetown University on a full scholarship to pursue to pursue a career in global health. And our valedictorian, Karina Urbina Diaz, is graduating with a 4.26 GPA and will also be attending Georgetown University on a full scholarship to pursue a career in business. <laughs> Class of 2022, you've made it to the top of a mountain that very few people in history have ever climbed before. You are the model of resilience, and for that, I am extremely proud of all of you. I can say this with complete confidence to the 80, 83 graduates of the Cardozo class of 2022. Absolutely nothing can stand in your way. And now at this time, I would like to recognize the scholars with the top 10 grade point averages of the class of 2022. As I call your name, please stand and remain standing and be acknowledged. And audience, please hold your applause until all the names have been called. Karina Urbina Diaz, Muna Said, John Hang Lee, Kayla Barno, Georgina Jacobo Vasquez, Kimberling Rodriguez Caravantes, Mayra Merino, Lucky Chantelat, David Lee, and Lorenzo Chiquival. Please give them an applause. Please, please remain standing as I would like to now acknowledge the following scholars for their achievement in these special categories. When I call your name, you too, please stand. And audience, please hold your applause until I complete saying the names of the award recipients. The Principal's Achievement Award, my favorite, Jeremiah Hill Barnes. The Leadership Award, Kayla Barno. The Most Improved Award, Cindy Hernandez. The Career and Technical Education Award, Somaya Super. The Community Service Award, Georgina Jacobo Vasquez. The Exceptional English Language Award, Damaris Tukoc. The Citizenship Award, Prince Ivan Koaku. 
the Student Athlete Award, Keandre Bibb, the SEAL, <laughs> the Seal of Biliteracy Award, Lucky Chantalat, and from our staff, the Inspirational Educator Award, Miss Anita Galloway, 12th grade English teacher. Please join me in giving these amazing scholars and educators a big round of applause. Thank you, and you may be seated. <laughs> and last but not least, scholars, families, and distinguished guests. At this time, I would like to ask you to join me in a moment of silence to acknowledge the precious life of a scholar that is not with us today, but is in spirit. Elmer Vigil Sorto. We want to honor his family and recognize the joyful years he was with us at Cardozo. Afterward, I will ask the family to join us on stage to receive his posthumous diploma. Ahora, por favor, les pido a todos los estudiantes, familias e invitados que se junten conmigo por un momento de silencio para reconocer la vida preciosa de un estudiante que no está con nosotros hoy, pero está en espíritu. Elmer Vigil Sorto. Queremos honrar a su familia y reconocer los años divertidos cuando estuvo con nosotros en Cardoso. Luego les voy a pedir a la familia que se suban al escenario para recibir su diploma Postumamente. Y ahora para el momento de silencio, por favor. And now for a moment of silence, please. Gracias. Thank you very much. Y ahora quisiera que un representante de la familia venga al escenario a recibir el diploma de su querido Elmer. Thank you, everyone, for joining us for that. Now, at this time, I would like to present the class of 2022. Graduates, please rise. <laughs> Chancellor Farabee, would you please join me at the podium?
And now, by the power vested in me, by the mayor of the District of Columbia, Muriel Bowser, and by the chancellor of the District of Columbia Public Schools, Dr. Lewis Farabee, I hereby certify that 83 members of the class of 2022 have completed the requirements for graduation from Cardozo Education Campus. On behalf of Mayor Bowser, as the Chancellor for the District of Columbia Public Schools, I am honored and excited to accept the class of 2022 from Cardozo Education Campus. Congratulations. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you the class of 2022 from Francis L. Cardozo High School Education Campus. Now, for the most momentous portion of our program, we will award the diplomas. Karina Urbina. Muna, Muna Said. So Maya Super. Angelo Aguilar. Manny Barnes. Ismael Martinez. James King Jr. Emmanuel Thompson. Abner Aguilar. Kiara Graves. Great job, Abner. Abner. <laughs> Jehan Lee. Great job. 
Fumisak Chantala. Dariana Star Greer. <laughs> Elenis Rachel Salamanca Gutierrez. Tomás Lanza. Francis Lopez. Felix Gonzalez. Fredis Sorto. Mayra Merino. Kimberly Rodriguez. Jaden Gill. Mónica Contreras. Lester Ramírez. Gabriel Vázquez Amaya. Guevara Guzmán Kevin Ramírez Luis Quevedo Luis Saldívar. Cindy Hernández. María Bravo. Me 
Milton Ramírez Hernández. Unique Warner. <laughs> Jayla Dutton. <laughs> Nelsi Manzanares. Kayla Barno. <laughs> Nikia Smalls. Isaiah Williams. Kobe Egan. Deontay Harrell. Andre Bib Robert Camp Lino Armando. <laughs> Prince Ivan Cuaco. <laughs> Jaden Boone. Nicole Salgado Peña. <laughs> Jennifer Garcia Villegas. Jorleni Guerrero Herrera. Denea James. Gloria Johnson. Kayla White. <laughs> Dave.
David Lee. Hassan Bushra. Elijah Malakai Lewis. Carlos Ortez. Fanny Bido Esteves. Rosemary Dismay. Antonio Ah Pop. Jeremiah Hale. Washington. <laughs> Anissa Curtis. <laughs> Tiana Hami. Erika Reyes Vasquez. Damaris Álvarez Núñez. Karen Vanessa Reyes Sante. Damaris Tukush González. Silvia Silvia Brizuela. Kennedy Lopez Maldonado. Georgina Jacobo Vasquez. Lorenzo Chiquival González. Makai Henry.
Nicole Brown. Donna Miller. Samia McConaughey. Diego Chak. Bertan Chang Kume. Jonathan Ventura. All right, can we give our graduates a big round of applause? All right. Now, graduates, I'm going to need you to uh, get your program, have it in your hand, because we're going to, once you have turned your program to the alma mater, I'm going to ask you all to stand. So once you have your alma mater in front of you, please stand. Guess. If you have the program either digitally or on paper, we'll be reading the alma mater together. And we will do our best to read synchronously. On three, one, two, three. Raising high its purple banner on a lofty hill stands the school we love so dearly and we always will. Though the years may come between us, be we far or near, we shall always love thee truly, our Cardozo dear. When the days that are before us bring us joy and pain, thoughts of thee, our alma mater, strengthen us again. May thy lessons keep us steadfast, free from harm or fear. Make us worthy of thy teaching, our Cardozo dear. Yes. Now, before we do the ceremonious turning of the tassel, Graduates, you will follow all of the platform guests out to the um, exit over there. And then guests and families, staff, you will wait for your graduate, for your scholar, outside where we will all convey together. We want to make sure everyone leaves in a very organized, orderly fashion. All right, graduates, are you ready? Class of 2022, are you ready? Okay. I'm gonna, from, from the left, you should have it on your left, and then we're gonna turn to the right. So, holding your tassel on your left. Start from your left.
When I count to three, you will turn your tassel to the right and you will be officially high school graduates ready for college, career, and life. On the count of three. One, two, three. I was wondering when somebody was going to do that. All right, now you need to find it. All right, graduates, pay attention to the staff member as they dismiss you, and we will do so in an orderly fashion. <laughs> 